Kristen Winnie here from Performance Fuel Injection Systems. Today, we've got a Jeep 83 CJ7. Came in here with a 258 engine, inline six. The customer has upgraded to the four liter head, Clifford intake manifold, and a header. You install the fuel injection system on this and the performance is amazing. Just like all the other 258 kits, we give you a complete kit. On uh, that side of the motor, you can see that we in include a large cap distributor, which has been converted to a seven pin ignition module, which controls spark. And over here, we've got the throttle body. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a Clifford four barrel intake from Clifford Performance. We do have the, the adapter plates to adapt a two barrel throttle body. We use the regular GM throttle body. We recondition the whole thing. Um, we use the 4.3 liter injectors in it. Uh, he also has a header over here. And uh, we was just going to go through a few things. Our other Jeep video, installation video, goes into more in depth. But we thought we would show you what we, what we have found to be a few problems, but mostly we wanted to show you this kit here with the 4 liter head on a 258 4.2 liter engine. At one time, there used to be two ways to put the distributor cap on. Uh, the distributors we're getting in now can only go on one way, so the um, where it plugs into the from the base is over the vacuum advance, which is disabled so you can't do it. Now, if you have your own HEI distributor, we will sell you the kit minus the distributor, if you already have this large cap distributor, and we will include a harness and instructions and the module to convert your distributor. Saves you about a hundred bucks. Now, remember that the four liter head, there's some ports in there that you have to make sure that gets plugged for the cooling. Um, do some research on the internet and, it's, and, and it'll, you'll find that out. Uh, the throttle body, um, one thing that I get a lot of calls on is the bracket for the, the throttle lever. You're gonna have to make a bracket. Now this one doesn't have power brakes so it's a little bit easier and what I did, the Clifford manifold does not have any threaded um, holes in it like the, the OEM. So I actually went and built a bracket and bolted it back to the firewall and then I reused the original cable. The coolant sensor, we took a plug out of the bottom of the manifold. There's three plugs that coolant runs through. He plumbed his uh, coolant from his outlet and it goes through the manifold and we literally took the plug that was in the coolant sensor where we put the coolant sensor and we put it right here underneath the throttle body adapter plate. If you had power brakes you'd use that area right there to plug in for vacuum for your power brakes. So this is where the coolant sensor is and if you go straight down on the header we actually welded the bung into the collector part of the header for the O2 sensor. And these are heated O2 sensors, so um, they're a lot better than the old one wire O2 sensor. The heated O2 sensor keeps it in closed loop while long idle duration. In conclusion, I wanna thank everybody for either purchasing a kit from us or, and or watching this video. Here at performance fuel injection, we're always striving to make our customers happy. You can always reach us at 517-975-4770. If by some rare chance you get my voicemail, just call back. Also, you can visit us on the internet at pfisys.com. And as always, here at Performance, we don't gas it, we inject it.